thing. This is the stronghold of the Neanderthals. The fresh kill is a welcome sight. To cope with the physical demands of their life, each adult Neanderthal needs to consume up to 4,000 calories per day. In the depths of winter, this can rise to as much as 7,000 calories, almost three times the amount we eat today. As he makes the first incision, the eldest brother stakes his claim. An adept butcher, he uses a razor-sharp flint to slice through the deer's belly. up about 12% of the European diet. The Neanderthal diet was very different. By analyzing ground up pieces of bone, we can tell a lot about what Neanderthals ate. Extremely high levels of carbon and nitrogen confirm that meat made up the bulk of their diet. Fossilized feces, known as coprolites, support this view. Coprolites have recently been unearthed in Gibraltar. Believed to be Neanderthal, they consist almost entirely of the remnants of meat. The meat has been well digested, suggesting that Neanderthal's bodies evolved specifically to cope with such a diet. Scientists now estimate that 85% of a Neanderthal's food was meat, on a par with carnivores like wolves. No part of this animal will be wasted. The skin will be worked to make clothing. Sinew will be dried and used as rope. The skull will be smashed open to get at the brain, the tongue, and even the succulent eyeballs. The old man is hungry. But his position within the pecking order means he has to wait his turn. Meanwhile, the youngest member of the clan has learned that it pays to be an opportunist. Inside the cave is a dumping ground where the younger brothers butcher the deer. They break its neck and sever its limbs. It's a messy job. Blood, gristle, and the remains of other carcasses cover the floor and walls. But better to do it here than outside, where the smell of fresh meat could attract predators. Like other carnivores, a special combination of enzymes in Neanderthal stomachs allows them to consume large quantities of raw meat. But cooked meat is more digestible and nutritionally less wasteful. 
the intense heat of the fire breaks down the protein and fat molecules, allowing them to be rapidly absorbed by the body. It's safer too, the heat kills off parasites and deadly bacteria. The Neanderthals' ability to cook gives them the edge over the other predators that share their world. demonstrating loyalty, affection and trust. Intimate contact of this kind is immensely pleasurable. The clan can spend up to four hours a day relaxing under each other's touch. Mm. 